How to eliminate dizziness when you're walking. Many people experience dizziness while they're walking. They're walking and they don't feel dizzy and then suddenly they feel a sense of dizziness or a sense of disorientation or possibly they feel like they're about to fall. This problem is something that affects a lot of people. In this video, I'm gonna to try to explain to you what the problem is, how you can make it better, and I'm gonna show you an exercise that I've used with thousands of people to get rid of this problem. First of all, let me better explain the problem. While someone is walking, they might feel perfectly fine, perfectly balanced, no dizziness at all. And then suddenly something crosses their path. Maybe it's a cat or a dog and they glance at that animal and they suddenly feel a sense of being off or a feeling that they're not about to fall but maybe just feel like they maybe can't maintain their balance. For some people, it might even be described as just a little bit of dizziness. If you're experiencing vertigo, which is a sensation that the room is spinning or that you're moving, that's something different. And if you have that problem, I suggest that you go see a doctor and get that diagnosed and try to find a good treatment for it. That's not what I'm talking about here. A much more common problem is dizziness or disorientation while you're walking. Why do people have this problem? Well, we have a sense called proprioception. Proprioception is the sense of where you are in space. It's an awareness of where you are. You, you have knowledge of where your arms and legs are without looking at them, but you also have an understanding of where you are without seeing yourself. You have a sense of where you are exactly in space at any given moment. And if something damages this sense, or if this sense decreases over time, you don't have a good feeling of where you are in space and therefore you don't feel balanced. We learn our sense of proprioception when we're children. We play, we play sports, we do activities that challenge our balance. All of these things help us train our sense of proprioception. People that are professional athletes have an excellent sense of where they are in space and where their arms and legs are at any given moment. That's how they're able to move in such a highly coordinated fashion. But most people, what happens is you just stop practicing things that challenge your proprioception. You stop challenging your balance as you get older. You don't keep playing sports. You don't go for walks on rocky surface. What happens is over time, your sense of proprioception can decline. So you don't have a good understanding of where you are in space in every situation. This is the biggest problem when you change your focus. When you're standing still or when you're holding something, you know where you are in relationship to the thing that you're holding. But if you're standing in a wide open area and you suddenly need to change your focus from yourself to the ground or from yourself to a car, from yourself to an animal or a child, that means you're changing your focus from yourself to something else. And that's where you need to know where you are without visually seeing yourself. That's often where someone experiences a sense of disorientation or dizziness. And that problem is really a lack of good proprioception. So can proprioception be improved? There's lots of studies that have shown that it's possible to retrain your sense of proprioception. It's possible to retrain your ability to know where your arms and legs are in space and where your whole body is in space. Now to do this exercise, you need something very secure to grab onto. I recommend two chairs where you're standing with the back of the chair to you or a kitchen sink. Next, you want to figure out how you can stand to challenge your balance. Now, what that means is you want to stand with your feet in a position that you feel just a little bit unsteady because now most people can do this by standing heel to toe. That means standing with one foot in front of the other. For some people, that's very difficult and you might need to spread your feet out so that your feet are slightly apart. Some people are gonna stand with their feet 18 to 20 inches apart because that's the only way they can stand without holding on to something. The first step of the exercise is to look down at something on the ground. If it's great if you can put a piece of tape or if there's an object on the floor that you can look at because you want something to focus on. You look at that object for about two seconds. Then you're going to slowly bring your head up and look at something straight in front of you. Now, if you lose your balance at any point, you want to grab onto those things that are next to you 
because that's what they're there for. You want to steady yourself by grabbing on if you feel like you're going to lose your balance. But the idea is to let go of everything and try to look from down to straight ahead. And then the last step is to look up at something on the ceiling. It could be a light fixture, it could be a mark on the ceiling, whatever you have. But you want to try to look at something as high up as you can focus. Then what you want to do is keep looking in each direction for two to three seconds and then slowly changing to the next position. So go from down to center to up. And you want to keep repeating this for about five minutes. Now, along the way, if you're having trouble with this, you're definitely going to waver. You're definitely going to feel dizzy. You might even feel like you're going to fall. If you have to, grab onto whatever is nearby and steady yourself. But the idea here is to keep doing this without holding on. Your goal is to be able to do this for five minutes without grabbing the sides. Now, anytime you lose your balance, I suggest that you switch which leg is forward. So if your right leg is forward, you want to switch it to your left leg being forward. That makes the exercise more challenging and it also makes the exercise not be as fatiguing for you. You want to keep changing which leg is forward. But if you're feeling disoriented or if you're feeling dizzy, what you want to try to do is keep looking in that direction. Try not to grab on, try to steady yourself and try to calm yourself down and see if that dizziness goes away. Most of the time, after three or four seconds, you'll feel that the dizziness, the wavering goes away. Then you want to just keep going. Keep going from looking up to the center and down. Repeat this for about five minutes, switching legs every 20 seconds or every time that you have to grab on because you've lost your balance. Now, I recommend that people do this five times a day. When you're retraining proprioception, the more times a day that you can do it, the more effective it is. The most progress that I see is in people that do this five times a day. Now, over time, if your balance gets better, you might be able to bring your feet closer together as you're doing the exercise. But if you find that you really can't, that you can't stand without your feet very wide apart, that's fine. The exercise is still effective. The idea is to look down to the center and up and keep changing your focus. And you really do need to pause in each position. Don't do this quickly. It's not a good idea and it really won't help. Now, another important point is that if you feel that you're getting quite a bit of dizziness or if you feel that you're getting maybe nauseated or maybe even experiencing some vertigo when you do this, I do recommend that you talk to a doctor. Now, if the symptoms are very mild, if you feel that it's just more of the same thing, more dizziness or more wavering, you just need to do it slower and keep repeating it more often. Over time, this can get better. The people that I've seen, that the clients that I've worked with and we've done this proprioceptive exercise, it usually takes two to four weeks of doing it five times a day before you really start to see a difference. I've had many patients that need to do this exercise for a few months. But if you're experiencing dizziness or wavering when you're walking, this exercise can actually improve this and that can reduce your chance of falling and improve your balance. I hope this video is helpful. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.